Hello and welcome to your students. Today we will discuss a very important and interesting chapter of English grammar that is tenses. In this video we will discuss about what are tenses, types of tenses, uses of tenses and the sentence structure of the tenses accordingly. The tense of a verb shows the time of an action or an event and tense is also a combination of time and work. Byakarno kriya etai kajya hampadana korar kal suai hol kal ba homoi. So from the definition of tense we learn that tense has time and work in it. And we get time as present, past and future. While on the other hand, work has its own aspects as simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. So from this we get the types of tenses present, past and future. Present tense, past tense and future tense has its similar aspects like simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. Now before discussing the uses of tenses and its sentence structure we have to learn a bit about the forms of verb used in tenses basically main verb and the helping verb main verb expresses the action or state of the subject a helping verb is a verb that comes before the main verb in a sentence a helping verb helps us in identifying the tense whereas the main verb denotes action. For example, the boy is playing tennis. Here, is is the helping verb and playing is the main verb. The main verb forms used in tenses basically are the five forms of verb. V1, base form or the present tense v2 past tense v3 past participle we get the fourth form of verb 4 by adding ing to the first form and if we add s or es we get v5 of the verb for example the verb it as v1 is 8 8 18 eating eats again go went gun going goes here are the helping verbs used in tenses according to their aspects the helping verbs of present tense are do or does is am or has have has been or have been the helping verbs of past tense are did, was or were, had and had been. And the helping verbs of future tense are will or shall, will be, shall be, will have, shall have, will have been or shall have been. Now let's learn about the uses of simple present tense or present indefinite to express Habitual action or repeated action that is done every day, always, often, sometimes, etc. For example, he drinks tea every morning or the cow gives us milk. To express universal truth like the sun rises in the east or the earth moves round the sun. Fixed arrangements, scheduled events, timetable like 
we have English on Mondays and Thursdays or our test examination comes off in June. Sequence of actions in the present like first I get up then I have tea. Instructions like open your textbooks. So these are some of the uses of simple present tense. Now we will discuss about the sentence structure of simple present tense. Simple present tense or present indefinite tense affirmative. Subject plus first form of verb plus object. For example, we play tennis. But if the subject is third person singular number, the sentence structure will be subject plus fifth form of verb plus object. For example, the girl goes to school. Present indefinite tense negative. Subject plus do or does, do with plural and does with singular, plus not, plus first form of verb, plus object. For example, he does not understand Sanskrit. Present indefinite tense interrogative. The interrogative sentence touch with a helping verb and mark of interrogation at the end. Do or does plus subject plus first form of verb plus object. For example, do you sing? Does he teach you? Now, since these are questions and we have to answer this, the answer of this form of sentences are yes or no type answers. While on the other hand, we get present indefinite tense double interrogative now what are double interrogative double interrogative sentences search with wh family plus two words plus subject plus first form of verb plus object now w is family means who what where when etc for example what does he say the answer to this question will be in detail or we have to narrate so double interrogative is used to when the answer is to be narrated or explained now we have come to the uses of present continuous tense for an action going on at the time of speaking like the boys are playing hockey for a temporary action which may not be actually happening at the time of speaking. Like, I am reading the tempest but I am not reading at this moment. For an action that has already been arranged to take place in the near future. Like, I am going to the cinema tonight. Sentence structure of present continuous tense. Present continuous tense affirmative. Subject plus ismr plus fourth form of verb plus object. For example, you are learning mathematics. Present continuous tense negative. Subject plus is mr plus not plus fourth form of verb plus object for example you are not learning mathematics present continuous tense interrogative is mr plus fourth form of verb plus object plus question mark example are you learning mathematics We have come to the uses of present perfect tense to describe our experience. I have been to the beach many times to talk 
about change that has happened over a period of time like the baby has grown since the last time i saw to list the accomplishments of individuals and humanity like humans have walked on the moon to say that an action which we expected has not happened or occurred example he has not finished his homework yet to talk about several actions which have occurred in the past at different times like brazil has won the football world cup many times sentence structure of present perfect tense present perfect tense affirmative subject plus has or have has with singular have with plural plus third form of verb plus object like i have eaten food present perfect tense negative subject plus has or have has with singular have with plural plus not plus third form of verb plus object like i have not eaten food present perfect tense interrogative has or have has with singular have with plural plus subject plus third form of verb plus object like have i eaten food question mark now we will discuss about the uses of present perfect continuous tense for an action which began at some time in the past and is still continuing for example i have been residing here for the last 3 years or she has been suffering from fever since monday last sentence structure of present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense affirmative subject plus has or have has with singular have with plural plus been plus fourth form of verb plus object plus since or for we use since in case of point in time like monday january 2019 etc and for to so duration like 3 hours 5 hours 5 minutes for example i have been writing this book since 2019 she has been waiting for 1 hour present perfect continuous tense negative subject plus has or have plus not plus been plus fourth form of verb plus object plus since or for like she has not been waiting for one hour present perfect continuous tense interrogative affirmative has or have has with singular have with plural plus been plus fourth form of verb plus object plus since or for question mark like has she been waiting for one hour again present perfect continuous tense interrogative negative has or have plus not plus been plus fourth form of verb plus object plus since or for question mark like has she not been waiting for one hour this brings us to the end of the present tenses the past and future tenses will be covered in the next video thank you for watching